Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining us today on Ludicrous Feed. A very special episode. I've got two very, very special guests with me today. Pia Peterson and Matt Peterson from Evoke Limousines, uh, an EV hire company here in Sydney. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah, pleasure. So tell us your origin story. What, how did you find, uh, how did you found Evoke Limousines? Uh, so Evoke was founded back in 2015 and it was really started out of a need to tackle climate change and specifically in the transportation sector. So it, within Australia, it is the fastest growing segment of emissions uh, within the country. And that was something that we certainly wanted to tackle. And to tackle that, we knew we had to use electric vehicles. Mm, okay. Did you specifically choose Tesla? Uh, so right now it's only uh, Tesla Model S and X. Um, if you look back to 2015, there were not many options in the way of electric vehicles. You had the Tesla Model S, the BMW i3 yeah. and the Nissan Leaf as fully electric options. Um, and really when it came down to looking at what was the most comfortable for customers, had luggage space and also had a good range, there was only really one choice which was the Tesla Model S. And unfortunately even today there's not a hell of a lot of options. There are slowly becoming more in Australia but um, it's still very much quite slow. Yep. Um, and how many are in your fleet right now? Uh, so we have 11 currently, so we've got uh, eight in Sydney and another three down in Melbourne. Cool, okay, so you're in Melbourne as well. Are you planning to expand elsewhere? Uh, definitely, so um, we would, we're would. we certainly looking at Brisbane and also uh, New Zealand as well. How many customers are you up to now, do you think? Oh, rough guess. Rough Thousands. Guess. Thousands, Thousands, yeah. Okay. And uh, what kind of customers do you get normally? Uh, so. Our main customer base is, is the corporate sector, so people that are travelling quite frequently, generally on a weekly basis. Okay, and airport transfers too, I assume? Correct, yeah. so that most of our work is airport transfers, but we also do a number of other bookings, whether that be weddings or hourly bookings, so it, it really just depends on what our customers are after. Yeah, what's, uh, what's kind of the reaction of a first-time Tesla um, you know, passenger? Uh, if it's their first time in an electric vehicle, it's generally one of an enjoyment and very much a wow, wow factor. Um, as you'd know yourself, being in an electric vehicle is quite different to a standard conventional vehicle. Mm. So they're often quite amazed. They come with a lot of questions. Mm. The touch screen in the, in the Teslas is also um, something that is very much a, a talking point. Yeah. Um, and do you ever accelerate for them? Ah, uh, occasionally, occasionally, where, where it's requested, um, we speed up to the speed limit. Speed limit, of course, yes. yeah, all legal <laughs> here, yeah, cool. Um, and do you get any kids riding your cars at all? Actually, we do. Uh, it's actually quite a common request for birthday parties. Okay. Um, so we often take, um, I guess, the birthday boy or girl and generally the people from their party, yeah. um, maybe to another destination or for an hourly ride. And um, they generally know more than adults a about electric vehicles, which is great to see because um, they're our future. Absolutely. That's the, you know, the way you're influencing the next generation. That's really important. Yeah. Definitely. Um, and what's their reaction? Obviously, very excited about it. Very excited. Yeah. 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 Generally, beside themselves. Emissions testing mode. Oh yeah, and oh, of yeah. course the emissions testing mode. What's which that is... again? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the fart machine. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, that that's generally always a winner with with the kids as well. Yeah, yeah my kids love that too. Yeah. Um, Matt, question for you um, from the from the tech and service point of view, what? How many kilometres is your most your oldest car done now? Uh, so all of our cars have got names after spaceships in Sydney and in Melbourne after superheroes. So Enterprise is our oldest car. Uh, it's the original Model S. It's now done over a quarter of a million kilometres. Yeah, in terms of service, it's on its first motor, first battery. Um, you know, things that move uh, quite a lot, suspension components and, and door handles, uh, they've failed. But um, yeah, that's what you'd expect on a regular car. Yeah, I mean, have, has the battery degradation been an issue at all? Has it dropped in range? It was something that certainly concerned us initially, yeah. um, but the degradation has occurred, but it's, it's minimal. You know, it's lost about 20 kilometres of range, which out of 360 is it's not really a big deal. Yeah. And for us, on a day-to-day -day basis, it's not impacting us in the slightest. Yeah, cool. And what about our maintenance point of view? I mean, you mentioned car door handles and things. Anything else major at all? No, and in fact, uh, you may, you're may you probably aware that Tesla have discontinued annual service as of last week. That, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we actually had a fun conversation with Tesla earlier in the week because they're like, well, we don't do annuals anymore. What would you like us to, to do on this car? And yeah. basically it was, please check the safety of it. Yeah. And that's it. So, um, you know, brake pads, um, we've 
our first car is the front set is on its second set of brake pads, so that was replaced at about 200,000 kilometres. The rear is still on the, the original factory brake pads. Um, you know, just the normal things. We, we go through tyres about every 60,000 kilometres and, and windscreen wipers. So. That's, I mean, that's almost unheard of, really. 250,000 kilometres and minor kind of issues, really. If you were driving a normal internal combustion engine car, there's no way it'd be that reliable. No, no. We hear horror stories from the rest of the industry all the time of, you know, a gearbox is blown out on a Mercedes S-Class and $12,000 later, the car's back on the road. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the, the peace of mind, I think, was really a big factor when we started of knowing that the, the drivetrain and the battery were under warranty for the entire life of the vehicle. Yeah. And even then, Tesla haven't had to dip into that warranty. Yeah. So, you've got the eight-year warranty as well on your cars. Yeah. Yep. Be interesting to see what happens at eight years. I think you guys are probably at the forefront of uh, testing that out. I reckon. Yeah. Well, the thing that I always say to customers who are asking about battery deg degradation is the car itself is probably going to fall apart before the battery does. Yeah. Um, so, you know, when we hit eight years, if we hit eight years, we, you know, they get changed so regularly that we may want to just maintain them. Um, uh, to upgrade them, I should say, um, to get the new interiors and new fascias and things like that, that um, yeah, we, we may not get to that eight-year mark, but I'm confident that if we wanted to, we will. Yeah, I think you should probably keep one just to see, yeah. you know, yes. yeah, prove to the world it can be done. Yeah. Um, quickly about charging, I mean, that's obviously is a, not, a, not a big cost compared to a normal chauffeur company. You know, fuel's not an issue, obviously, for you guys. Yeah, so for us, charging is the main, the main problem for us is Melbourne. Um, and we're working with corporate partners now to install charges which we'll, we'll pay for. Yeah. But the fuel costs, as you're saying, um, even for us paying for it will be about a quarter of, of petrol costs. Yep. So uh, it's fairly insignificant and it also allows us to go and make sure that we choose electricity that is 100% green power. Um, so that is you know, fundamentally what we're on about and we need to make sure that we do source it from that wherever we can. Yeah. Or, you know, solar panels directly. Yeah, right which, um, you know, Charge Fox as an example, they all have their own solar farm. Yeah, cool. Uh, and question back to you, Pierre, where do you see the future of Evoke and uh, limousine companies in general, given autonomous vehicles are possibly on the horizon? Right now, I, I do still see, see a place for um, chauffeur companies. There's no, no doubt that that's where the industry is heading. Um, we still see a lot of edge cases where I guess you're still going to need a human, um, whether that's part of a luxury experience um, per se, where maybe the driver is more of a, a concierge or... or um, you know, a butler, so to speak. Yeah. Um, but there are other edge cases. For example, is a car going to install child seats for a, for, um, a family? Um, so, yes, that's where the industry is heading. Are we going to remove drivers entirely? No, I think, you know, probably where, where a driver is included or a concierge, um, you'll probably see a higher level of service. Yep, no, that's a great answer. I think that's, that's the differential between robotics and you know, a good service. It's yeah. the human being there to greet you and drop you off. Yeah. I think I would still want to see a driver, I think, for many years to come, yeah. for sure. Where would I go if I want more information about Evoke? Um, you can head to www.evoke.limo. Excellent. And I'll put a link to your website in our description below and also um, on, the, on the screen here in front of us. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Pierre and Matt, really appreciate your time. And uh, good luck with uh, Evoke and the years ahead. We'll certainly be uh, keeping an eye on things. Yeah. And uh, we'll chat to you very soon. Thank you very much. Pleasure. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. Happy charging.